Hey guys, Koi here. Thank you so much for tuning in yet again to my YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who are new to this family, Karibu Sana. And uh, uh, basically in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, or taking you with me to one of my salon days. I'll also be showing you how a traditional wedding or a rural show I attended over the weekend went down. And uh, I'll share also some fun activities that my family and I engaged in over the weekend. And lastly, I'll share with you uh, one of my favorite minced meat recipes that you can probably try out sometimes. So yeah, I really hope you do enjoy the video. Stay tuned. I love knotless braids for my hair so whenever I want to do braids I usually visit some D salon. Uh, the salon is located at Zimmerman uh, just along the uh, Roisambu Kaha West Road uh, just near cooperative. Yeah, they, they usually give pretty nice services, quality services uh, and their prices are quite affordable. So whenever you visit the salon you uh, get uh, you just end up looking super. Over the weekend, Happy and I attended the Rorasio and uh, uh, it was a pretty nice experience. We had fun, we danced, we ate, yeah, and we pretty much had an awesome time. Arurashio is a, a traditional wedding in Kikuyu. This is where uh, the, uh, the groom uh, gets to, or the guy gets to take dowry for his bride. And uh, before now, they can proceed maybe to doing a white wedding. I just loved their outfits, the bride and the groom were looking dapper and also their team, bridal team uh, and the guests were also looking so lovely. It was really uh, a beautiful, beautiful occasion. So the next day, uh, my family and I decided to visit a specific or a particular resort in Aungata Rungai. Uh, the resort is called Masai Lodge and it was uh, quite a long journey but it was uh, totally worth it. Sunday for me is usually the best day of the week uh, simply because I get to spend time with my family. We also get to create priceless memories. I simply wouldn't trade uh, the time we spend together for anything in the world. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we say The weather was totally awesome for outdoor activities uh, It was quite sunny And uh, it was brilliant for a swim or a dip And yeah would cause I just loving this moment can we stay here forever 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 and guys uh, please consider taking time or spending time with your family it really does help in creating or in cultivating strong friendships uh, communication trust and uh, generally just creating a strong family bond when i dance around i can't help but feeling just loving So 
I really don't remember the exact name of this road, uh, but it was somewhere in Gong, heading to Ongatarungai. So we finally arrived at our destination. Our destination was uh, Masai Lodge. It's located in Ongatarungai. And uh, it was really, really a lovely sight to behold. Can we stay here forever? I love this moment. Can we stay here forever? Just loving this moment. Can we stay here? This place was simply beautiful, the, the views were to die for, the field was just breathtaking. Uh -huh. The kids had an awesome time playing and uh -huh. uh, it was just a really <laughs> nice experience. Just look at those views. The hotel was just amazing. Uh, the views were really, really uh, breathtaking. The hotel borders the Nairobi National Park, so you get to see some wildlife also in the process. Yeah, and uh, I think you guys should definitely try this out. The pool, oh my, I just couldn't wait to get in and take a dip. So yeah, uh, the kids really enjoyed running around the field and most especially Liam, he totally, totally enjoyed the football. And the food, well, kiloya ukweli. See, 1.5 kgs was uh, a lot, it was really a lot, we didn't even finish, we carried some home. So we really had a fun packed day. Uh, we left the place pretty late, about 6.30 to 7 thereabout. And uh, we will definitely be going back to Masai Lodge with my family. It's a really nice family spot. And I would recommend that you guys try it out with your families. It's really uh, an awesome, awesome place. So my missed 
meat uh, recipe is quite simple I usually just boil the minced meat in uh, water and salt and uh, sometimes I might prefer putting the spices uh, to the minced meat while it's boiling and uh, yeah just to have that extra taste So my favorite spices to use are usually the dark soy sauce, garam masala, the najera, tandoori, uh, onion powder, paprika, and reiko. And also for the like uh, fresh products, we have uh, the garlic, uh, tomatoes, we have green and red bell peppers, we have garlic, and also uh, green onions. <laughs> So I start by adding the green onions and the uh, tomatoes and a little bit of oil. Then after that I mix the ingredients thoroughly and uh, cover the food to just let it cook. So at this point the tomatoes are not properly cooked so I add a little bit of water and uh, I let the minced meat cook some more to ensure that uh, the tomatoes are perfectly cooked. Once the tomatoes are cooked, I start now adding my spices one after the other. Just add your spices to your liking. I usually just put a bit of it uh, because even the kids uh, will be eating the minced meat. I don't like adding my reiko directly to the food uh, because sometimes uh, when you add it directly it doesn't it, it doesn't even out with the food so I usually just like diluting it in water then adding it to whatever I'm cooking <laughs> So after adding in all my spices, I usually go in with the cooking cream. The cooking cream is meant to ensure that the minced meat will have like a thick kind of stew because in my household we usually love soup. Uh, the kids can't uh, eat anything dry so yeah the cooking cream comes in handy. Is no wasting time was as you were family time. 
Bouncing baby, no next in line Meant to be, it was set in time Love can hit ahead of time Honeymoon high, the time of your life Promise will stand the test of time Sadly, forever is not enough Na kupenda Kama na machoma after adding like uh, every uh, other spice and uh, even the cooking cream, just add any amount of water that you want. Uh, the water should be to your liking if you want uh, moder- uh, some medium kind of soup or a lot of soup. Just add whatever you want and uh, after that just cover and let the soup boil. I like uh, the vegetables quite crunchy so I usually add add them towards the very end so I go in with the red bell peppers and the green bell peppers then the carrots then I cover and give uh, give them a few minutes to to cook So I usually add my garlic towards the very end. I love having that fresh aroma in the in the food. So but uh, you can actually add the garlic to your preference. You can add uh, while cooking the onions, you can add maybe while adding the spices for me i just love adding them at the end and then lastly adding the the dania or uh, just the the parsley so that uh, to have that fresh fresh aroma in the food And as I said, you guys, uh, just add soup to your preference. I added a bit of water because as I mentioned earlier, my kids usually love soup. So if you don't like soup, uh, don't bother adding more water to your stew. So before I could uh, remove the stew from the fire, I tasted and I found that uh, the the salt wasn't to my liking. So I just added a pinch of salt uh, and I let the stew boil before removing it to serve. So I really didn't get a chance to show you guys how the food was served or the final look of the food. Uh, by the time I was finishing up, my kids were pretty hungry, but I'll do that in a future video. So I think it's a wrap for today's video. Please feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. And uh, please uh, let me know what I should include in future videos. Until next time.